Hi everyone, this is Dale Ann, and I'm way behind on photographing my 52 questions, so I thought it would be easier to do a video of them. For those of you new to my blog, you can download a PDF with all the, the prompts. The prompts are from Emily Falconbridge who had posted them on her blog throughout the year in 2007. And I had saved them and thought one of these days. So once I had finished last year's I decided to go back and do the ones that she had done on 2007. So I am starting with the ones that have not been shown on my blog, which is week 11. And week 11 asks you to use your initial and what it stands for and and all that. So here is my initial and this is a baby wipe. I use baby wipes to spread paint, to wipe off stamps, and then I save them. So what I did was stitched a D, a stylized D, and then <laughs> I must have had a lot of time on my hands back then or something because I did all these are dots pointillism and tried to show a shadow here I'm as I said I must have had too much time on my hands to do that because I can imagine that took a while and then this little dream I had done a, a tutorial on how to make your own ticker tape with cardstock through your Dymo, what I had written, Dream, and then I just stitched the backing so that it was stitched to the front. Week number 12 asks you to believe, or what do you believe? Think big, something small, and something you believe in. So this is vintage wallpaper, and then I just colored it. I don't know what I used, because that was a long time ago. Anyway, this word had been already printed out somewhere, and just and these numbers are I used to save a lot of digital scrapbooking I forget what they're even called elements I think or something and so I had those already printed so very simple just used a piece of vintage wallpaper that probably was going to get thrown out because it had a crease and a rip. Week number 13 asks you what's on your mind. This is a drawing behind some tissue paper and then gessoed and watercolored. I should have wrote that all down. Sorry about that. Number 14 is all about birds. Anything that comes to mind when you think of a bird. These little birds were, they're from Carol in Quebec. And this is oil pastels and then onto the watercolored paper.
Week number 15 is your parents. What do you think of when you think of your parents? What have you learned from them? What is your relationship like? And I know on the back here is different uh, letters that I had received over the years. And this is a sticker. This is a chipboard piece that I colored. I, I like crows, so... <laughs> I'm not sure how I did the background, but I do like it. It might be all my sprays, homemade sprays together, and then uh, vintage photo rubbed over top. Vintage photo distress ink. Number 16 was get someone else to contribute. I asked my husband. He didn't want to have nothing to do with it. The next best thing is these butterfly punch outs are from R Rita Hutchinson Cobbs, a friend in Alabama. Anyway, she sent them and so that's what I added to this. This is a text out of a old book and once again I think I used sprays and then Derwent ink tents on the sides to watercolor and then this is half a punch out this one I really like when I was looking piling them I thought geez I wonder if I could ever do that again um, Week number 17 is your bedroom. Current or old, it surely holds some special memories or decor that can be elaborated. And I don't know why I picked this stuff. There is um, my friend Karen in the next town over gave me some embossed heart paper. And that's what the start of this is. And looks like it, I sprayed with my gold spray and then this is bubble wrap of course. And then I just used a pen to make circles. I do like it though. I'm not sure if you are picking up the, the shininess of it. Number 18 is nature, and nature always inspires me. There is a watercolored, I remember this one because I, I remember telling myself I need to try it more often and maybe on canvas. There is watercolored paper behind, then I cut out the tree from a scrapbook paper. Then somebody had sent me this crepe paper. And so I glued it over top with matte medium, let it dry, and then glued butterflies because I like butterflies and crows because I like crows. But most of all, I like trees and the little tag I wanted to make it look like it was hanging from the tree. But I do like that. Week number 19 is surprise. This is more old pen pal letters and book text and... There's a lot of spraying on there, and I'm not sure if you're you're picking up the, the shininess of it. This has a piece of mulberry paper. I, I can tell what that is on there. And this oval was given to me by Sharon in New Jersey. On the inside, it was kind of embossed, and I used my paint pen, my gold paint pen to just do the inside. 
and I colored it with vintage photo. And this is um, one of the pieces of paper that was left over. Week number 20 is all about change. How do you feel about it? What big or little changes have you made? What do you want to change? How do you deal with change? This paper was text. I, I did a tutorial about it. Uh, Claudine Helmuth had done where you glue the paper down and then you tear it back. For this one I decided to use Derwent Ink Tents. Just rub all over it and then wet it and see how it came out and not bad. And the white is from the gesso that I had put down before I glued the paper down. And then this is a flower that I colored with my homemade sprays and then tape measure. Week number 21 is asks you to tell your redeeming qualities or qualities you aspire towards. This is a bunch of different colors, different stencils that I've used, bubble wrap that has got yellow paint on it, and this was a tag that Mitzi in Michigan sent to me. And the original paper is the inside of an envelope. So it's got the lines and then it wasn't quite like it was the back of the envelope so there is um, a leftover piece of the pen pal letter underneath there to cover the card. But And there's lots of spraying on there. You can see some glitter. Week number 22 is what would you like to learn? And this has, you can see, a lot of shine from my homemade mists. The black is, <laughs> I had wanted to try, I have this book, Stencil Me In, and in it has Oh, you can see right here, it has a stencil for telephone poles. But the black ink or black spray that I used was fabric paint and it blotted. So I wasn't happy with how it looked this way, so I decided to use it this way. So this is just... This is a plastic, I think it was an ad or something about a paint company. And so I just cut the part of it out because I would like to learn more painting. That's why I put that there. Week number 23 is, I believe I had just come home after the fact, when I had just come home week 23 and 24. And this is... When I am painting here on the table, I have usually a piece of paper. Sometimes it's parchment paper, sometimes it's wax paper. This one happens to be, I use fusible web and the paper that comes with it is kind of like a parchment. So this is what the leftover is. So the other side of that piece there is this one. So I was in a hurry and wanted to get the card done. So this week it tells you to right now, remember just how you're feeling at this time in your life, right now. So I, when I wrote this I was very excited about my trip to Spain and how inspired I was, and everything like that. Week number 24 is Remember When. 
And this is one of my homemade stencils that I have. I used and I think I showed it on a previous video. It might actually be on my stenciling video. There. And then I just used black paint to stencil. And this fabric is using a technique where you, when the fabric is wet, you put salt on it and like coarse salt and and you can do this with watercolor paper also but the coarse salt sucks up the paint and the moisture so it leaves kind of a patterned effect and this piece happened to be laying beside my sewing machine pencil that on added some paper over here because when I went to cut I should have cut the paper first before I sewed the it on and so when I went to cut the I was off the edge there so I had to cover it up <laughs> so and these are just scraps left over week number 25 asks us to use a photo that means something to you this background paper is the homemade corrugate cardboard that Journal Artista Paula Phillips has a video on YouTube about. This is my version of it, using it once again, pen pal letters on the top and everything. And these photo corners are actually envelope corners that you use a fancy scissors and I don't even have that scissors anymore, but I found these in the bottom of my pizza box that I have all kinds of little embellishments for. And so, once again, I colored it with the gold paint pen. But this photo is the day that my husband and I were married 35 years ago. This is, once again, a butterfly from Rita, and I added the... The number to that and week number six is celebrating daughters this is my daughter when she was a year and a half and look at that I just noticed she's got a pickle in her hand that's my dad got her to, he, she teethed on pickles the background is made I had done a tutorial on making your own daubers, sponge daubers. And so this is the leftover card from that. Week 27 asks us to use junk mail. So this isn't junk mail, but this is, came in the mail. This is a, a friend had sent me a letter and had stamped the envelope all over. This green windowed paper is from I think my husband got a, an update on his pension. This happened to be on a, a magazine insert that, you know, one of those cards that falls out all over the place. And I just stuck this sticker that was in the bottom of the pile. This was left over from, I went to Spain, still on the luggage that I had was our baggage tag from when we had gone to Toronto the year before so I tore it off and then just threw it on my table here because it's sticker so I wanted to use it so that's left over from that. This is an old sticker that I just put on there and I sprayed with my different sprays on there. I'll show you what I am putting this is a cigar box that my brother-in-law sent to me and I thought it would be perfect to put all the cards in and so far so good and I put a little thing on there hope you enjoyed the tour and we'll see you again bye now